Hey guys, we're back for the final part of this impromptu candle collection. Um, while I paused, I went and I realized I had two more candles to show you, so I grabbed them. This is the one I'm burning in the kitchen right now. Right now. Talk much. Um, it's called White Sand, and I got it at the candle sale in December that Bath & Body Works has. And it's sparkling grapefruit, coconut milk, summer jasmine, and essential oils. And honestly, it smells like Bath & Body Works version of Sun & Sand. I like the Yankee Candle version better, but it smells similar to Copper Tone. The best way for me, to, what this actually reminds me of, and I'm not sure how many of you will be able to relate to it. This will be more for our European or our German subscriber. So let me know in the comment section if you know what I'm talking about. And my pronunciation may be off, so I do apologize. But growing up, um, instead of Nivea cream, we grew up with Panadin cream. It's a very, very thick, almost like a tar-like cream. But it's great for like diaper rash and for super dry skin. And it has a very distinct smell. Not a bad smell, but it's very distinct. And um, that's what this candle reminds me of is that Panadin cream. And I think I've mentioned that on here before because I know I've bought this candle before. Probably for that exact same reason. And the other one I want to show you, my mother actually gave me this for Christmas. And I don't know if I hold it or not. Look, number one. You guys know I love lawn gnomes. I have a thing for gnomes. I have, I have a thing for a lot of things. But he is a candle. He is a pine scented, probably balsam for emerald balsam. I always feel dirty saying that. Like balsam for just. Everybody knows what it sounds like. I just think it sounds dirty. But it's so cute. So even though it's a Christmas scent, I leave him out year round because it's an adorable little lawn gnome. Um, but I will probably burn him this year. We'll see, because I got all these candles. I'm like, I'll burn it, I'll burn it. Uh, I probably won't burn him for like five years. You'll see him in empty items I used up five years from now. Maybe we'll have kids by then, who knows? Like, it'll be like, We'll see. This will be a time capsule. So, when uh, down the road, I'm trying to remember this video. Hey, she burns this candle in 2025 or 2030. And what's her life like then? What are the differences? Let's find out. She's still living in the same place. God, I hope not. Um, does she get another dog? Does she get a cat? Do they have kids? What's going on? Okay, so we got the other sun and sand here, and now we got my Yankee Candle, uh, blah, 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 our Bath and Body Works. So we have this one, Jesse, called Tis the Season. And I bought this before, and I always like, I forget what it smells like. Then I smell it, and I'm like, oh, that's right. It's very apple cider like, very similar to leaves in that sense. Um, Tis the Season, rich red apple, sweet cinnamon, and cedar wood. So, not exactly like leaves, but it's close. It's similar. And it's it smells good. It's a very nice one for the fall season. Um, let's see here. I got one, two. I have three twisted peppermints. So this one was, I think, from two years ago. And then I got two... Oh, no, these are all different packaging, I think? No, this one's... I think this is the oldest. This is the pink. It doesn't get old for me. I love it. Oh my god, it brings me happiness. I should be sniffing this like all year round. I should have been burning this during the pandemic. Maybe it would have calmed my nerves. So I got two of that exact same candle, and then this one, twisted peppermint. And then this was a special edition one. Um, this is Winter Candy Apple. Now, you got this for free if you spent, I forgot what you had to spend, um, but I got it and it was awesome. It's candied apples, crisp pears, oranges with essential oils. Um, Winter Candy Apple was one of those scents that got me into the Christmas scents for Bath & Body Works. Then I discovered Twisted Peppermint and this kind of got left in the dust. But it's the closest to like Country Apple was the scent I used from Bath & Body Works back in high school. 
as well as Juniper Breeze, but Country Apple was the first one that I used, then Juniper Breeze, as far as like body sprays and stuff. But I did use Juniper Breeze lotion. But in today's world, this is probably the closest to the Country Apple scent um, that I knew. I see you, Desi. Put that there. And we got three more. So we have, I think these are the same scent. They are. Um, so I have a fresh balsam. I'll show it to you. I have fresh balsam here. And this is, it's the most wonderful time of the year. It's the same scent. They just give it a different, they do that with some of their scents. I don't know why. I don't know. But it's literally the same thing. I will typically burn this on Christmas Day at the house. Or when we're decorating the tree. It's a toss up. This and Twisted Peppermint get used interchangeably. But mostly I use the Twisted Peppermint. And the last one here is. Um, this was also bought by that huge candle sale that we had. Um, this is the Salted Ocean Air. You guys know your girl should be living in a beach town. but. I don't. Fresh ocean mist, warm summer winds, beach musk, and essential oils. Oh my god. This is the next candle I'm burning. Mm. It smells so good. I love it. Um, and I'm just going to put everything kind of away while we're filming still. I'm sorry guys, like this is a mess. Like This is full of stuff that I was organizing. This over here is jewelry that I'll be getting rid of. It's just been insane. So, okay. We're gonna burn him, so we'll put him on top. What are you doing? My dog is looking for trouble. She's trying to find what you can get into and cause havoc. I can see it in your little eyes. I can see it. I, I know you. Anyway. I'm telling you, I really wish that they would put these on sale more often. I've been hunting down like on their website when they were doing the dollar votives again because I'm gonna buy like one of all of them because these votives oddly enough what got me into buying these because I always thought they were a waste of your money when I went to that um, when I went to Yankee Candle but I was at a Goodwill and they had these for like 25 cents there was a couple of them I should have bought all that they had but I bought just like two or three that just appealed to me I think you remember me hauling those and I burned them, and I couldn't believe for such a small little candle, which, I mean, I should have known better, how much throw it had and how long it actually lasted. These are actually decent quality. I don't think that their asking price is worth it, but when they do their dollar sale, oh, absolutely. Like I said, I had ordered um, the Macintosh, one of the Sun and Sands, and one of the Rose candles, but you needed to add, what was it? I think I was a dollar away from free shipping and I ordered another one but it was discontinued like it sold out so I'm glad I ordered more than one otherwise I probably would have lost my free shipping cost but um, I figured you know what I wanted the Midsummer's Night and they didn't have it in the size I wanted so I got one of those and then these other scents were intriguing to me and I was like you know what I want to try the scents because I always get the same three scents because they discontinued my other ones uh, which is well four scents the Midsummer's Night the Macintosh, the Sun and Sand, and the Rose one are my typical go-tos. So I've been curious about these other two that I saw, so I grabbed them in the dollar size, and I love it. I love it a lot. So I'm probably going to be getting these two next. I know I have a Lemoncello, but I think I killed that one. But anyway, as we put it, the candles away, we're going to make sure that the summer scents are towards the top which is the one I'm using no the one I'm using is over there so that we can easily access them later I'm gonna have to rearrange this I already know because um I'm already messing up I'm gonna have to rearrange this because there's more candles here than when I started so that being what it is so, but yeah, so that's my candle, updated candle collection. I have some pretty cool candle holders too, but we'll save those for another day. 
and they're actually hiding over here. Like my anchor one and stuff. So anyway, if you want to see like my candle holders that are like over in this section, let your girl know. Like I said, this is a mess. Like you can see, my lotions are here. Nobody comes in here besides me. So it's organized within itself. I got incense here, my perfumes, my lotions. Like it's, it is organized, even though it doesn't look it. I know you're like, mm-hmm. Come on, girl. You lying. No, I'm not. It actually is relatively organized, believe it or not. Even my candle are relatively organized within itself. But anyway, guys, we are, well, we have some time, so we'll hang in there a little bit longer as I put these away. Um, yeah. I wish I did have a bigger space. Like my candles originally were over in this section where it is larger, but then my, I didn't have room for my lotions. Like together there, there's too much between the two. And um, well, hopefully we'll be moving out of here soon. I don't know when guys, it's like been on hiatus for a while. Just pray that everything works out and that we find the right place because it's been a nightmare. <laughs> anyway guys, the camera is blinking. We're at that magic moment where it's like, hey, you're running out of time. So I will see you later, guys. Stay safe, stay happy, and stay positive. I love you all so much. Thank you for your positivity. Uh, there's a bunch of you who sent me beautiful presents um, during this pandemic. I'll be doing videos on those very soon, and I just want to thank you guys so much for that. I will see you in the next video, guys. Take care.